Hi guys and welcome to another episode. My name is Steve White and I created and designed the Steve White's podcast just to give you a place of empowerment, inspiration, wellness and positivity. I hope that you find some healing and strength while I help you to see the beauty in the grey area. So as I've discussed in my past few videos, the last five years have really been about transformation for me and trying to live my optimal self. And part of that journey for me is the things that I allow into my space, the things that I allow into my mental space and also the narrative that I have the freedom to choose over the world that I want to live in. When I was growing up, I was always told that I should watch the news to stay informed about what's happening in the world. And that is so important that we know what's happening in the world. And that was a part of my routine to watch the 6 p.m. news. And at that time, it was just an hour a day and it usually went something like this. It was a segment of local news, a section for world news and then the weather. And that was it. Fast forward to today and the news is 24 hours. It's relentless, it's unforgiving, and it's all the time. For many years now, I've been saying that I don't watch the news and while on the surface this may be true, when you dig a little deeper, you realize that actually it's, it's not the full picture. I was still open to it in various formats, whether it be social media or news apps, um, or even having conversations about the things that I'd seen, or headlines, with others. But I realized at some point that actually there's a reason why I said I don't watch the news, um, and that is because of how it makes me feel. I don't like how it makes me feel, and there are two sides to this. There's one where it makes me feel as though my world is filled with disaster and tragedy, and the other one is when I see something horrible or tragic or a massive disaster, feeling absolutely nothing about it at all. And that was the point where I said, actually, I need to separate myself from this constant stream of negativity. There is so much beauty in this world, but it's so difficult to see it when your filter of the world is the news. And the three main reasons why I'm deciding to give up the news are feelings it makes me feel sadness it makes me feel pessimism and it makes me feel drained i'm the kind of person that is very solution based and so when you present me with a problem i will find a solution but when the news is 24 hours a day and it's coming at you from all angles and it's problem after problem after problem for someone like me that can become very very stressful because I'm trying to find solutions to all of these problems and no one man can fix the world's problems but I'm the kind of person that likes to play my part in my little corner and so sometimes you can feel overwhelmed and sometimes you can feel like you're outnumbered by negativity and almost as if your contribution doesn't matter and for a creator, for an artist like myself that can be very disempowering and have you feeling as though, what's the point? Um, an extension of these feelings is me being desensitized by tragedy. And um, I identified this when I was growing up. If I saw a news report, which I would every day, about bombings in the Middle East, or um, how many children have died from famine that day, or poverty, and um, at a certain point, that became normal. And it was not necessarily okay, but there were no feelings or emotions attached to it. Whereas if the same thing had happened here in the UK or in the US, it would have caused a much deeper um, emotional response. But once I got to a point where, oh yeah, that stuff happens over there, this many thousand people died um, because of bombings and stuff, it, I got to that point and I realized that this isn't cool. Seeing the news every day, seeing those reports every day, you become familiar and they say familiarity breeds contempt and I had seen that my life had gotten to that point where one side of me felt so deeply for the little things and the, the sad stories that I'd see every day but then the other part of me was desensitized to tragedy and disaster and pain. This was further highlighted this past year, everything that was happening with this pandemic. Um, I remember sending my sister a, um, a website where you could track um, the stats and the numbers of cases and deaths and 
um, when we first started looking at it, the numbers were so low, but we were like, man, like 24 people have died. And we felt so deeply and so, so, so sad and um, grieving with those families that have lost loved ones. And the days went on and the numbers started going up and up and up. And it got to a point where it was hundreds and then thousands and then tens of thousands. And my emotional response wasn't the same by the time it got to 60, 70,000 deaths because um, I'd become desensitized. I had stopped seeing them as individual people who all had family and friends and all were part of different communities. And the impact that one death of one person, one number on that stat sheet would have on a whole community and a family and the, the future life of those affected. And I didn't want to be desensitized anymore. And so this was another part of me deciding I need to give up the news. It had me thinking what happens when we as a people lose our ability to feel um, is that the point that we lose our humanity? I know that feeling is a real part of life and I encourage people to embrace their feelings and I think there's a balance to everything and so I'm not condemning anyone who decides to watch the news. I've just got to ask you, how does it make you feel? Does it help you um, to live the life that you want to live? Um, there's a difference between being informed and being inundated with a certain narrative or agenda and you just have to be mindful of the filter that you're consuming your information through um, because not everything is as it seems and so I just cannot wrap my mind around all the beauty and wonderful things in this world that I know exist and the wonderful people and accomplishments and great creators you see even on this platform here um, but they're never in the news and the news is always disaster it's always sad every new thing that happens that's newsworthy has to be negative and I just don't want to accept that as reality of what the world is because I know that's not the case some of the problems that I see with the news is that we have fake news we have cancel culture we have um, gossip we have political agendas we have um, society shaping um, platforms that control the narrative over a certain type of community. We have um, filters that show certain parts of the world in different lights and um, we have so many different agendas that are floating around us from each of these networks that we are forced to make up an opinion about something through the lens of something we've never actually experienced or seen for ourselves. And so I don't want my thoughts, opinions and actions to be based off a system of communication that isn't verified with the invention of Twitter. Everyone's a news reporter and you find that actually just regular people are reporting stories um, before news outlets even get to them. And so the facts are not always there. And so why subject yourself to that emotional response? when the story or the headline may not actually be factual. The lines are so blurred now between real news and fake news that it's all become merged into one big conglomerate of toxicity and it's presented in a way in where it's articulate but underneath the surface of it it's just toxic and it's created to disempower you and I can't support that. And so rather than add ratings to these programs and become a part of that type of narrative feeding that beast, I'd, I'd rather create positive content and content that shows perhaps the good side of life and also highlight some amazing people that I know through my channel and create content that empowers people and can create another type of feeling where actually it's not just about be positive and be happy all the time but no um, maybe we look at some of these disasters and look at some of the negative things and actually see some blessings in some of these things and but not through the lens of those networks i don't want to keep feeding that machine by giving it my consciousness giving it my attention and allowing it to be the narrator of this performance of life. I don't want to allow it to be the director of my thought or the director of my political positioning or of my social positioning. I would like to experience life and be shaped into the person who I'm going to be 
um, authentically by my experiences have a way of thinking that really reflects my journey and my interactions with real human beings and I would like to evolve naturally as opposed to my opinions being formed by this mass communication system. This is a very personal journey for me um, and it's really one that I've just decided that is best for my, my lifestyle in that I want to move forward without feeling as though I'm missing out on anything. People are gonna tell me what's happening on the news anyway. I'd rather be in control of the lens that I choose for my information. And also then I can form my own opinions as opposed to listening to color commentary or any biases or agendas that have been very carefully put together and certain languages used to provoke emotion. And I won't allow anyone to have that much control over my mind and my decision making. So a big part of this for me was about identifying that it's not just watching the six o'clock news, it's about social media, it's about um, tweets, it's about apps, it's about eliminating them all one by one. Some of my solutions to this issue of the news for me is just simply don't watch, don't consume this type of media. The second one is not to assume that my opinion on any news matter is wanted, needed or valid. Um, sometimes we can get a bit carried away with thinking that what we think is right and that anyone actually cares. So I just don't talk about it. I'd rather speak about positive things. Third one is don't make anyone feel bad about watching the news. Again, this is a personal journey. You may decide to take this journey, um, but it's your personal journey. So don't try to force it on other people. Um, the news may be good for other people, but you have to decide for yourself if it's good for you. My final point and probably my most important one is um, with everything that I do, whenever I remove something, I replace it with something more meaningful or more positive. And so, and some of these new additions may just be things like reading or consuming positive content that actually feeds your soul. Um, um, but just giving yourself things that empower you and make you feel the way you want to feel in life and promotes um, a healthy and positive lifestyle. It's also important to put everything through your own filter and say, does this contribute to the life I want to live? Does this contribute to the state of mind that I would like to have? Does this contribute to the future that I envision for myself? And if the answer is no, then it's gotta go. And so I'm not here to call out any networks. You know all the networks, you know who they are. Um, but I am here to speak to my network and say, you have the authority to make executive decisions in your life and decisions that will help you to become more fruitful and to be more happy and to be in control of what goes into your mind. If you are going to start this journey of no news, good luck to you. Maybe try it for a small period in time and see how you get on. Um, I'm sure you will see many benefits from it. Today is the final day for me. I'm shutting off everything and I just don't want to be a part of that that world anymore that's all for today thank you for listening if you like what you hear feel free to subscribe and until next time stay blessed and i wish you better days